Hello YouTube. In this video, I will show you guys what's inside this clock radio. Uh, this is a Sony Dream Machine, and this is a pretty old model. Um, bought this thing, I don't know how many years ago. Um, definitely more than 10 years ago. This thing's pretty old. Um, as you can tell on the back here, when you open it up, the 9 volt connector is damaged so I couldn't really do much with it uh, so I was using it as a clock and by um, the I guess the power um, would not stay inside and it was just a pain to deal with and I have other methods to keep time which just takes up some space on my shelf so you know I really didn't need it anymore so I decided to scrap it and so this was a suggested video, once again, by Awesome Slomo. If you have a chance, please check out his videos because he is an awesome YouTuber with lots of great potential and he just makes great content in general. So, without further ado, let's begin. So the first thing you want to do is, of course, um, if your clock radio comes with batteries, be sure to remove those first because sometimes um, the battery door will have some screws underneath. In this case there isn't. This is a nice little clear piece of plastic but this is useless for me. So and if I was to scrap this and the uh, connectors were still good I'd save them for projects that involve 9 volt batteries and uh, Altoids tins because they're pretty useful. Anyway so first thing you want to do is you don't really need to cut the cord because as you can tell the case just kind of goes around it so I can snip it more and have only one piece to deal with a power cord. So, first thing to do is to remove all of those screws surrounding the sides. Sorry, if you hear that in the background, those are my dogs. They're crazy. So we got about half of those screws taken out. I've actually never taken apart one of these things. It should be pretty interesting to see what's inside them. There we go. So now this back should come right off. Look at that. So um, this is what's inside. We see we have a speaker here which we can try to save and salvage uh, for some um, projects in the future. And if it's working, try to sell these online because you can actually make money off of these. You can sell them in sets of like five and people buy them. It's crazy, but they do um, because they can be used on a lot of projects. So yeah, try to save your uh, speakers and you can just cut them off, but try to keep as much of the wire available as possible. But if it is just in a plug-in connector, be sure that you uh, unplug it rather than cutting it. So, to deal with these guys, I usually stick a flathead in the piece that doesn't have any kind of glue, which is right here. And usually I can just pop it right out. And there we go. As you can tell, that's a pretty much good to go for selling. However, you may want to um, clean off all of the shellac. It looks like it's not really any kind of glue. It's more of a shellac staining. Um, but yeah, this is a piece of plastic. And so now here's the uh, main board here. We can see there's a transformer um, that amplifies the voltage input to power it. And this you can keep the board on there for low grade and to add a little extra weight or you can cut it off and put it in your low grade board pile. But usually that's too much work for me so I just snip off these wires and sell this as is. Depending on your scrapyard you may need to snip off the um, low grade board on it but mine they don't care. They're real lenient on everything. This end here is a brass plug. Um, these little pieces can be pulled out. I'm not going to do that in the video. 
but you know these can these are pretty easy to remove so you got yourself some brass and some little extra copper so here we got ourselves some speed um, some power cord and go with your copper wire and here we got ourselves some more connector that was connecting um, this transformer this high voltage transformer to this main board here so next what we want to do is just remove this main board here um, in this case there's no actual screws holding it in place only the case so I can just take this whole thing out as one piece um, these are little gears here you might want to save the gears um, because you can sell these online in like big back gears and make quite a good amount of money and on the back here we could see that little weird arc thing right there well here it's actually a little track to move this little um, I guess bar this little bar um, corresponds to the um, this little reading here where you can see what station you're on so it's kind of like a little uh, gear mechanics here pretty cool um, let's see what's underneath it after pulling that little piece of plastic out oh that hit my face no worries my eyes are fine that's just a piece of plastic here and another piece of plastic there that goes into my plastic container and here we got ourselves just a chunk piece of plastic another chunk piece of plastic and we got ourselves our board here so since this is a damaged 9 volt battery connector I'm just going to scrap it just snip off those wire ends um, you got ourselves, ourselves some wire a little brass connector And here, the screen, I'm just going to cut that off. And we got ourselves a nice little screen. There are sometimes you're able to get some gold off of this, so you definitely want to try to pull this off and see what's underneath. I'll do that on screen here. In this case, there's no gold. Um, in some of these older machines, like I found this coffee maker had this kind of um, display, and I was really curious to see what's underneath. It. And it turned out that each of those little contact points, those are all little LEDs, um, and they all had gold plating. In this case, there is not. So if you ever get something with a flat kind of LCD display, definitely try to crack it open and see what you got, because it could be some hidden treasure. So yeah, I could just sell this as low grade. So yeah, wrapping up, we got ourselves our main board here. I'm just gonna go ahead and snip this off if I can. There we go. Got ourselves a nice little piece of wire. A speaker and a transformer with a piece of low grade, a low grade for the display. Some screws, get these out of the way, and we got this our low grade. This low grade here, um, there's not that much. This weird looking cylindrical component that is the actual antenna this is the internal antenna that's inside or it could just be an inductor I'm not sure yeah it's an inductor um, these kinds of inductors are only used in radios um, I don't know why maybe one if there's any kind of talented electricians um, that are one of my fellow subscribers or people that are watching these videos 
please comment and tell us how because I think a lot of people would want to know. So that's an opportunity for you guys to um, be involved. And that'll be awesome. So, but yeah, this is just a piece of inductor. It's real easy to remove. It's basically just some paper um, covered in wire with a piece of wax. Um, wax, I guess, insulation. It's really weird. I don't know what it is and what's its use, but I'll find out eventually. So I'm just going to pull this off. There we are. So, this is a piece of number two copper. Yeah, it's basically covered in wax for some reason. Anyway, um, so this is a piece of ferrite, which can be sold as steel. Let's just break this off. So yeah, this is some steel. Um, and other than that, this is a pretty low-grade board. Um, there's this little weird box here. This is a um, variable capacitor. Um, whenever you change the stations, there's a little um, head that spins. And that tells you what station you're going to turn to, what frequency and stuff. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much what that is. It's interesting. They, if you take one apart, there will be a whole bunch of layers of like paper and metal. Not paper, but plastic and metal. Um, and they turn whenever you turn that little knob at the bottom. Um, other than a few buttons here, all these buttons have some silver in them. And these chips, which could have a small amount of gold in them. That's pretty much all there is on this board to really salvage. However, when you turn on the back, you can see a whole bunch of monolithic ceramic capacitors. Um, these MLCCs, as they're called, or maybe they're multi-layer. Yeah, multi-layer um, ceramic capacitors. These have silver in them and palladium, mainly. Could be also a couple other trace amounts of like, gold and other precious metals in them. That's really what we're going for is the silver and palladium inside. So yeah, that's pretty much all there is inside one of those clock radios. So awesome slow-mo, I hope you found that video interesting and useful. Um, and everyone else, thank you for watching that video. It was pretty fun to make. and. It's neat to know what's inside something they've never taken apart before. And I hope you have an awesome day.